Alright, uh, let's just keep going here. Yeah, well, we were playing for, I think, two hours before you hit me up. But she's going to bed, and it's fucking time for Xenoblade, baby! The sweaty man hours right here. Dying over here. Here we go. Oh, easy. A lot of XP. Need that. How they got Daredevil? Because whenever I'm playing shooters with him, he don't ever be seen the light. Oh, oh, damn, bro. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's pretty funny. That also does sound like Javi, though. Easy clap. Easy clap, baby. That, that is a very hobby like um thing though, what you're saying. For those on YouTube who are wondering who I'm talking to, I'm talking to my boy Wolf. Uh if you're enjoying the VODs on YouTube, I suggest you hop over to my Twitch page. You could uh, see it all live as it's happening. Uh, but I appreciate y'all. Y'all don't have to. Y'all can just stay right here on YouTube. Whatever y'all want to do. Oh, shit. I don't think I have to fight any of these people, honestly. Oh, yes! The Senna is finally uh, fully ranked. I can change her off a healer. That's not what she's good at. Um, hmm, what class can she learn now? Can learn the Yum Smith. She's not particularly good at that either. Uh, man. Definitely want to change her to a DPS. She might be good with two swords. Try the sword fighter. You line him up, I'll knock him down. See how she does with this class. Uh, just use her auto builder for now. Um, I think everybody else is good for the moment. Kinda don't like her in this outfit, so I'm gonna change her. I 
still really like her military uniform, like, the best, let's see. What you up to, Wolf? I see you playing WoW going in. Getting ready for the uh, dragon expansion. What are these people? Hello. What's up? Why don't we get a little of everything? Hmm. Boost recharge speed. I already have a bunch of those, actually. Buy one of those, I guess. The selection's making me go cross-eyed. Ooh, another uh, no pod thing. Waiting for Blizz. Well, hey, you know what? Hopefully by the time uh, the new Dragon expansion comes out, Activision won't be involved anymore and Blizzard can finally be free to make decisions that are good for the game and not good for monthly subscribers or a cheap buck every now and again. Get rid of all those Activision people that are in, are, are in place there. Because I know Microsoft's probably going to fire like all of them immediately as soon as the takeover is done which should be great too, huh? Wait a minute. I have to... Hmm. I actually have to go there, so what, what the hell is even in here? Is this a secret elevator? Now we I just guess so. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of moves uh, for Microsoft to do once they fully take over Blizzard. Um, but I think... Honestly, Blizzard, just getting Activision away from Blizzard is going to help them so much with all their games, like just straight up. Because Activision, all they've done is, as time's gone on, how could we just be lazier and, you know, purposely ruin games and then make people have to buy an expansion to make the, to fix it and, you know. That's why Bungie got away from them, because they did that a lot with Destiny. It's like, let's make stuff bad on purpose, and let's fix it by charging you 60 bucks for an expansion. It's like, that shit's not cool. That's not fun. Like, nobody wants to do that. That shit is, is ass. Um, like I said, I think Microsoft taking over... Even, <laughs> I think just the Activision people no, being gone is going to help a lot. Like, those Activision people are, like, businessmen. Like, they don't develop games. They don't play games. And trying to have those people, like, be in charge of a company as amazing as Blizzard is, like, a fucking travesty. I just hope that whatever Blizzard is left uh, after Activision is gone is still enough of, like, the good Blizzard. Um, but I'm sure Microsoft probably start hiring people and bringing people back. I already saw a couple people saying that as soon as Activision is gone, they're returning. Like immediately, which you know makes sense to me. It totally makes sense. Oh shit! What the smoke screen? It smell weird. This not just normal smoke.
They're hiding in the smoke. More incoming. Ah, my legs. Ah, Mimi. Oh, we're fighting ninjas. We're just fighting ninjas. Colony 13's little specialties. So, you've seen this before. But wait a moment. These mothers are Agni. I don't get it. Why this specific tactic? Could it be the commander? We're talking a lot, this and I'm supposed to be breathing, grim. breathing this in. There's no way to tell where they're gonna come from next. Water. Water. Yeah. There are water veins in these caves. We can use them to make an escape. Yeah. What up, Roxas? What Does up, baby? Make a dash for it. Uh... Tyon, decide. Look, I trust your judgment. You do? All right, we'll have to run. I judge it to be the best option right now. All I needed to hear. Let's move. Lead the way. I'm on it. I mean, our bodies are not normal, so smoke isn't just gonna get us killed immediately. If we're damn near robots, I feel like half of us. I mean, uh, I was thinking about playing Digimon Survive, but Xenoblade comes out the same day, and I mean, the Xeno games are my favorite games of all time. Like, just going back to Xeno Gears. Uh, so I just wasn't going to miss it for anything, honestly. So I think that combined with the fact that Digimon Survive is like 90% visual novel, 10 to 15% like actual strategic RPG battles is kind of rough for me. Like, eh, that makes me lose a lot of interest. Um, I don't even see their damage or the party art's damage. Oh, I do want to see my art damage. Um, Yeah, I just don't know. What about you, Roxas? Are you gonna are you gonna play it? Damn wolf. I'll be uh he's late to the fights and he's late to the Discord party. I don't know what to tell you, man. It's fucking rough.
lot of dead bodies here. Look at this. So many. Yeah. Send them back home. Such is the officer's duty. Yeah, I mean, from people that I know, like, at the website that I'm writing for, that are playing Digimon Survive, they're saying it's good. Like, they're they're into Digimon. Like they're saying the storyline and the visual novel portion is, like, a good story. Um, and they're enjoying the combat. It's just the balance for me is, like, so out of whack. I, I've really tried. And if I couldn't get into 13 Sentinels, I don't know if any uh, visual novel is going to be the one to do it for me. I guess I would have to really care about the source material for a visual novel, because all you have is the storyline at that point. Um, one of the things that if I didn't have a kid, I probably would be more willing to try it, but because I do have a kid, it's like, a time is so limited as it is. The thought of doing like four hours of cutscene before you do one battle is like terrifying to me, you know? I don't know about that. I don't know if I, if I had it in me. One thing I love about Xenoblade right now is that it's, um, the combat and stuff, like, you can just get into such a gameplay groove, and for some reason, I, I gotta see, like, the behind the scenes, this game specifically has so many fighting game mechanics implemented everywhere in the combat system, like, specific fighting game mechanics. I'm talking about like canceling attacks, like delayed hyper combos, tag assist, you know, level three supers. Like it's it's just very interesting because the other games did not have like that kind of direct tie-in uh, with fighting games, uh, like where this one does. And it's uh it's it's really good because it keeps me like engaged like during every battle. I'm like trying to be optimal with like my combos and stuff like you know like how you would in a fighting game like you got your optimal combo route and stuff so I actually really like that it's definitely an element of the game that I didn't even know it had or expected uh, I mean I normally just like their combat because they feel like good sci-fi single player MMOs um, but I give, I go to the tips thing, right? And I'm sorry I'm talking quiet, but I got a neighbor who likes to stomp on the ground whenever there's any kind of noise. And she's a raving bitch, so <laughs> trying to move out. Uh, until then, yeah, you have like an auto attack, but then you have arts. Arts are your special moves. Then you have talent arts that you have to spend meter on, like an EX attack in a Street Fighter or any other fighting game. Then you have combos. So you literally can do a break, a topple, and topple is basically like an OTG. So then you can daze them or you can launch them in the air. Look, see, you can launch them in the air. If you launch them in the air, then you can jump in the air after them for air combos and then finishers. And it's like, and you know, the fighters, each of the characters like roles have different play styles. They have fusion things, they have level 3 supers, and it's like, yo, what is going on? Like, what is, 
But the fact that attack canceling is something that's part of the game and not like a exploit that people are doing online. Um, like you could, there's chain attacks. There's like how you do a combo properly. Um, like I said, assist attacks. There's like a canceling attacks. Perform an attack the moment the previous one hits to allow you to cancel it. And it's like, bro, these are fighting game turns. Like straight up. But like more so than than Tails, because Tails doesn't feel like a fighting game to me. It feels like an action game to me. It feels like a Devil May Cry, where you, where like those are the kind of advanced mechanics you're pulling off. This one specifically feels like a fighting game, uh, even though it's like semi turn based. It's not like I'm not launching somebody like in Tails and jumping up in the air and doing a 20 hit juggle combo. Um, it's more subtle here. Like when I played Tales of Arise, which I really enjoyed, I did like that game quite a bit. I was thinking like Devil May Cry, you know, that kind of combo structure and feel. But in this game, I'm thinking of like Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, like what's my team composition, you know, like, what's my optimal combos, you know, to maximize my meter and it's just, it's just a really Never seen this place before. cool dynamic, you know, that I just was like, what the hell? I was not ready for that here. Now we just hang about. <sighs> True. And I think Tails has to be that way because it's super real time. So the feel of it has to be different. We need to make the water veins. How about my characters? I don't know, I just love these games because you can stink yourself into them because they're, just, they're so gameplay heavy and there's so many mechanics and so many systems that I'm like engaged the whole time I'm playing. Uh, not only when I'm doing like a main story quest or whatever, like I'm pretty into it uh, the whole time. Even playing as the healer right now, it's like pretty engaging because of the aggro and the MMO kind of structure to the combat. And then you can do this. Transform into uh, Biomex and kick some Better crazy get ass and get all anime with it. Which is like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I just like the game's feel. I like that you have six, seven characters at a time. It feels yeah. like you're in a big posse. And I like that they're there all the time. So the cast of characters feels like they have a. They really develop as a group instead of just one main character and the other people just show up when there's a cutscene. Uh, I don't know, there's a lot about Xenoblade that I love. The core storyline is always a thing. No, so... Hmm. That's a loaded question. The very quick version of that question is... All the Xeno games have a structure where they connect together and it's never really made clear. But by the end of Xenoblade 2, why all the games are similar but never quite the same, all of a sudden makes sense. And that question gets answered. 
and Xenoblade 3 is essentially now that you know the state of how all the Xeno games have ever connected together, now you're in that world, but like a couple hundred years after life has formed in the aftermath of that. So it's a good excuse for the game to be easy enough to jump into if you've never played any of them, but also very rewarding if you've been playing all of them like me since Xeno Gears, Xeno Saga, Xeno Blade. Xenoblade X, uh, because there's lots of little things you notice that make a lot more sense now with where the story is. But if I just gave this to a random person who's never touched a Xenoblade game, the story within the game that I'm playing right now is pretty self-contained and doesn't rely on flashbacks or previous knowledge to be relevant. So I think it's it's been done... This is it! That part of it's really well done. I gotta give him credit for that. Definitely not a Kingdom Hearts game. It's a lot more clear and concise than Kingdom Hearts. And uh, I love me some Kingdom Hearts. But Kingdom Hearts is completely nonsense most of the time. What kind of place is this? I love me some Sora though. Alright, let's go here. Oh, I can't. I can't. Look. The current, the current is taking me. No. Yo, gravity is playing Sonic the Hedgehog right now. Let's go. Hmm. I will say every time I go to a waterfall and there's nothing behind it in video games lately, I'm getting more and more upset. Like, what happened to video games before every waterfall? had a cave behind it, you know what I'm saying? Or a chest or something. And that just doesn't happen anymore, bro. What you got for me? It makes me upset. Basically, games used to be good, and now they're bad. And I don't know why. Alright, let me save. I have like a billion Gotta save slots. Gotta note this all down. Oh, here we go again. Running around at the speed of sound. Hold on a second. Hold on. I know this is annoying. Everyone's like, what are you pausing it for? But I got to get the right music if I'm going to do this part of the game. Hold on. I got to get the right music. Everyone, just bear with me. I'm getting the right music for this, this scene. Okay, here we go. Meme, meme over. Oh, me, meme joke over. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you don't, you're too you're too young to be playing video games. Go play Mario 64 and then holler at your boy. I'm gonna have to mute that for the uh, VOD on YouTube, or I'm gonna get sued by Nintendo. This game's music hits too. I'm gonna be quiet, let the music hit here. Long time no see, Tyon. That guy. So they got to you too. Commander! Did they order you to destroy Uroboros too? Not exactly. Huh? You must have worked it out. This strategy 
mirrors that day when Nimue's life was cut short. I figured you would try to use that route to flee. That's how I knew to wait right here. And so I replicated the conditions of that day to a T. But why do such a thing? Why? Well, let's see. In a nutshell. To remind you of your past. To make you relive it and drive you to despair. To break your heart. To steal all that you hold dear. To ruin you to your very core. <laughs> that is my revenge. It's payback for Nimue dying with her wish unfulfilled. It's your own past. It's finally caught up with you. Um, I don't know who you're talking about. I uh, was just looking for Taco Bell. <laughs> They got the Doritos Locos Tacos, two for free. All right, homie, you're mind controlled. Let me kill your mind and free you. And poor Teon, bro, just going through the struggle. Nimue gave it to you, right? You should hold on to it. It was my fault. My pride led to her death. If only I'd presented a less reckless plan, the strategist would never have... Nimue would... It's, it's too much for me. I don't... I don't deserve this. Wants to use game chat over Discord? What is wrong with that guy? It's true. What it a is psycho. my fault. You were the kindest man I knew, Commander. But I made you use the same enemy tactic that cost Nimue her life. I drove you to such desperation, and now you're determined to kill me. Precisely right, Tyon. Oh shit! I was saying Tyon this whole time. Has come back to haunt you. Hmm. Oh, I am not ready to fight a robot. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not ready to fight a whole robot. Oh shit. Uh, just marking the ground. Thank God I'm very over leveled for this fight. Uh, can I go first person for a fight? I can. Cinematic boss fight than an actual boss fight. I could appreciate a good cinematic boss fight. I'll probably get a cutscene halfway through as well, far if I know my video games as well as I think I do. Wait, 
Uh, he's in Enrage. If you played an MMO, you know what Enrage means. So he starts doing his actual attack. Ow, that hurts real bad. Oh, Lady Warrior's so far away from the fight. I hit him so hard, dude. Oh, we're not done yet either. Oh, I got both of them back. Let's go. Oh, we're doing so much damage. This boss is about to die right now. Here we go. Oh, the music in this game is absolutely incredible. It is a straight 10 out of 10. This Sonic Beast. Oh. My XP bonus. I'm at 340% more XP. Bro, no fucking way, dude. I'm doing crazy damage. That was uh, definitely over there. Real boss fight incoming. So because I have to be quiet, this feels like I'm doing an ASMR scheme. Any one of those fancy mics like a skeptical pickle.
the music is so good. It's just so fucking good. What the? Oh, that's a new form? There's plenty of forms? I did not know this. What? Yo, oh, this is so Which high. One? There goes my answer. This one? How about here? Me for a fool? I'll show you a fool! I'll blow you away! You and all your rustling phantoms! Oh shit. Oh. Alright, I'm getting kinda hyped. I can't defend against that. If Tyon took the Ouroboros form, I can too. Lance! Come with me! You insane! Just trust me! Hurry! It's over! Oh, Tyon! And so we're all gonna get alternate Tyon, forms? All of you! I won't let this creep lay a finger on anyone! Quick thinking, man! Get off me! Had to go play the hero. Dick Mom! You're trying to protect you! Just stop it! No more arguing! Oh, this is so Where sick. Oh, man. I, I didn't know there was even more stuff to unlock. And they look completely different. That's so sick. Oh, let's go. Damn, like literally he the turtle on his back. Break the flame clock. All you gotta do now is break the flame clock. Let's go. The Yo, the cinematography is amazing. Embers on coke. Brush them off. If push comes to shove, do not flinch. Do whatever it takes for the greater good. The dead don't think anything. They don't speak to me. Stop crying, lads. It won't change anything. I was told from the rankings. In all the pain, I'd ask that. And no one did hear us. Is that why you're here? To recognition. It's the feelings you feel. Oh, that's so sick, dude. Doing like the after image. Yo. So bad, I gotta be quiet right now. I just wanna scream. Back to me, he can. I was planning to. Oh. What? My man is Iron Man. Yeah, that Iron Man arm he has is fucking wild.
Ooh, I get so hype. Quiet hype, ASMR hype. If you're hype like me, drop some emote in the chat. ASMR said I'll play it. Creeper powers, you know what I'm saying? Come on. Enough is enough, Commander. There's no reason for us to be fighting each other. If you still need a life to satisfy you, you can have mine. Tyon! If that helps put your heart at ease, if it settles the debt I owe Nimoy, I'll do it. <laughs> into mud pie. Have you ever felt so much fondness that it made you quiver? Voice. Long time no see. You forgot about me. I missed you. All these sayings that have to do with time. They ring so insufferably hollow when you only have ten years on the clock. It doesn't feel real. But you know... No! It can't be! Is that going to be the little kid that was a healer? Jora? Noah? Uni? Riku? Lans? It has to be him. I have to tell you, I am overwhelmed with emotion. It is him. Joran! Sincerely. I'm on the verge of tears. Joran. But you. Joran. You know him. Wait. I know him. Yes, Joran. Amid the rubble and the flames. He died in a battle with Agnes. They were all friends. But wait. How does that work? How can he be? Assuming the memories we saw were correct. Noah? <gasps> you're... you You're our Yor. You, you were alive. Was I alive? <sighs> of course not. I did die on that day. Evidently. That's why I can be here now. What? You can call me Jay. Guess what? I'm a proud member of Mobius now. What is no. going on? You can't mean it. You're... You see, they gave me this incredible power. I can take people's memories and refashion them into my very own mud puppets. Mud puppet. Refashion my wings. <laughs> I've waited Yo, what too up? long for this. Five years in fact, less than three. Yo, shout out to Gibby. What up, Gibbs? Yo, appreciate the 60 months, baby. I don't want to die. Don't make me Five years of subs. That's a lot of Taco Bell right there. You, we shouldn't have come here. You just had to make This is not for. Why are we the ones who have to fight? Damn, this little kid is the a psychopath. The body may be mud, but their minds are the real deal. But without hearts, they're pretty quick to tell you what's on their minds. Yoren. 
To be honest, this game's music is incredible. Oh my me. god. Noah, you need your lands. You'd make good puppets. What profound and clear sighted words would your cold lips utter? I've so wished to hear. Why did you have to go and become Ouroboros? Hmm? <laughs> oh, you were never like this. What did they do to you? What do you think you knew of me? You didn't know anything. I am only myself, Uni. The realest, truest me. I don't need to hide anymore. I can finally be me. Becoming Mobius? Best thing that ever happened to me. I want you to feel it. Feel the joy I feel. Feel my absolute elation! Yo, do you hear the music in this fucking game? I'm trying to tell y'all if you're not playing Xenoblade, play fucking Xenoblade, bro. Alright, Gibby. Have a good night, baby. I appreciate you stopping in, showing some love. Oh, what's happening now? I'm getting new gameplay commands. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. mechanics just got explained to me right now. Holy shit. Thank god I'm so over level for this fight. Greatly increase damage ratio and fully heal all allies. Yo, let's do it. Him. Let's fucking go. 
This probably seems very confusing if people are just tuning in now. Rest assured, all of this does make a lot of sense. It's not that crazy when you're actually playing it. Yo, I'm doing Your eighth mark. You get a good taste of, it, boss battles. of my elation. Cut the crap. What are you droning on about? I don't buy it. I refuse to believe you're him. You aren't our Yorin. Yorin saved our lives. I'm gonna see the flashback. They've only been hinting at it this whole time. But yeah, I thought he was dead. I didn't even think about him, honestly. I forgot that they were showing the flashbacks. See what happened when he was a kid. No, he was still kept the kids. Watch out! 
My man got pancaked. Hmm. I was not expecting all this drama from just streaming for like Yuren. an hour or two tonight. Yuren! Yuren! <laughs> Yuren! It just further adds to my thinking, though, that the council, the main villains, are just our characters. I think that they're us. I'm not sure, like, what the angle is, but I think that they are just us. You don't get it. You honestly don't get it. In that instant, I rose above you miserable fools by saving your worthless, piddling lives. It was indescribable, Lands. Yoren. Ah, wasn't this fun? I guess I'll call it a day here. Can't be hoarding all the fun for myself now. Gotta leave some for the next guy or gal. Say what? I should thank you, Lands. Because I get to be like this now, and I owe it to you. Toodles. That's a lot of storyline to just grab all at once. Even for me, who's been playing for 50 hours, it's like a lot for me to unpack. Like, whoa. Between the new mechanics, the new chain attacks, the new forms for our mechs. Our friend that we thought died is a villain. The fact that I think we are the villains. I think we are playing as us in the past. Whew. The Colony Lambda residential area. Do you think it's behind the waterfall? Seems so. Let's stay alert. My kids just fucking crazy. See if we can move forward and uh see what's uh the end of chapter three look like. I think this is definitely the end of the chapter. It's another thing to see it for yourself, eh? Oh yeah, totally. Everybody on that note, this colony is going to need a lot of work to restore, it seems. Everybody here and get the affinity. Thank you. 
I want to appreciate everybody for stopping in here, like I said. Gibby, Roxas, Wolfie, just got the All-Stars tonight, and I fuck with it. Very slick. Might as well claim this. I think I have a screenshot so far of every single chest in this game. I've been documenting every single one that I pick up uh, so far. For the sake of putting an Uber guide together at some point, Might take a screenshot well of the map and I take a screenshot of like the end game so you can see what it looks like. To explain to him so what that's what happened. I'm sorry. I don't remember a thing. Except for that console silhouette. Did I say anything to you? I didn't say something hurtful, did I? Not at all. You were your usual self, Commander. Our pride and joy. The same as always. Tyon. I see. I'm sorry. Is, is that? Nimue. She always cared so much about you. You possess an acuity that sets you apart. You'll be an elite, head and shoulders above the likes of us. Nimue, she wouldn't stop going on about you. Oh. So someone called you a coward? Nonsense. Consider it what you are. Perhaps to a fault, you heeded a comrade's opinion. Isn't that right? <laughs> Here's another thing she mentioned. That if you let us, if we could gain victory through your kindness, she'd have loved to see it. <laughs> Even if it's too much, it should be yours to carry. Keep it safe. Someday, I'd like you to go visit her. Uh, how can I visit? At the Cadencia Frontier, beyond the Far Lane underpass, there's a place where Sophronias bloom. Nimue always loved their flowers. And one of them was especially brilliant. I'd like you to bury it there. Oh. 
That'll show her, beyond all doubt, your victory through kindness. And my boy Taeyeon getting some closure right now in the storyline. We're still not done yet with chapter two or chapter three, I should say. Um, I think I'm gonna stop it here for the night. I'm getting to be very late, and I have a child that I have to look after in the morning. So, uh, out of respect for the fatherly process of being a dad, I'm going to call it here and still get some hours of sleep before he is screaming in my face. Um, once again, just want to thank everyone for hanging out. Roxas, Wolfie, Gibbs. If you're on YouTube watching the VOD, come check out the Twitch channel as I'm playing it live. Um, just appreciate all the support. Go to GamePur.com. That's where I'm writing about the game. I have tons of guides and features, and I'll be doing a full review once I'm, like, all the way through. I'm not rushing my review. I'm going to really not only get through the game, but allow it time to sink in. So uh, it won't be a timely review, obviously, but it'll still be one that comes from like a real centered place um and that's it everybody i uh, love y'all have a good night be safe and peace out